What's up guys, it's Dope Strings here. I'm here to tell you about the giveaway going on right now. The giveaway right now is called the Trucker Starter Pack. Um, I'm doing this giveaway to give a thanks to all the, um, everybody that subscribed to my channel that got me to a thousand subscribers. I said I would do it and now I'm doing it. Uh, this Trucker Starter Pack comes with a bunch of items um, that can help a driver, a new driver, a freaking owner, a owner operator, a freaking lease operator, anybody that's looking to become, um, that's looking to be a truck driver or already a truck driver, looking to get to the next step or whatnot. Um, these are the items that I have on, have right now for you guys. Um, these are items that I use on a day to day basis to save me time and money over the road. I don't like sitting at shops. I, I mean, I got it got old after a few years. I got tired of sitting at shops, waiting on small repairs, changing airlines out. I have to wait freaking six hours just for someone to get to me just to change out my airlines. I got tired of crap like that. So I decided to invest in myself, which a lot of these tools I already had because I work on um I work on cars all the time. So I had a lot of these tools already with me. But some things I didn't have. But the trucker starter pack is gonna consist of this. An impact sockets um the airline kit so you can air up your tires in the morning in case your, your tires get low definitely during the winter during the winter you know your tires get low in the morning um get low because of the um, winter thing the winter um weather but in the summer you know it's going to heat up and you'll be good in the summer basically what i'm saying um but you, you got you're gonna have that man you're gonna have a bolt cutters you're gonna have wire cutter hey man if you got seals you know this stuff come in handy man um but yeah, you're gonna have a multimeter. You're gonna have a blower to blow your trailer out or not. Man, hey, I use these stuff on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm telling you guys, these stuff saves you time and money. When you see a blue beacon line and the freaking the freaking line is out the freaking truck stop, or you go to another truck stop and the freaking the um the washout bait is like it's like out the freaking truck stop, man. I done seen a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of crazy places where it's like that. So this blower, this blower. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's not a cheap lure. None of this stuff is cheap. This stuff is coming. I'm gonna get all. I'm getting all this stuff from Lowe's, man. We're not doing no cheap stuff, man. We're not doing no cheap stuff because cheap stuff don't last. I need. I need this stuff to last, man. I've been. I've been Air Prime six years, and my tools have lasted me. I'm still using them till today. Um, but anyways, guys, I'm gonna get you guys right, man. Hey, you can go enter the giveaway right now, man. The link is in the bio. The link is in the pinned post. So I want you to go check it out, man. Go enter right now. The giveaway is only a dollar, bro. It's a dollar to enter. You have the opportunity to win a couple hundred bucks worth of items. Just for a dollar? Come on, man. Come on. I mean, who would not do that? Like, it doesn't make sense for you not to enter, man. It's a dollar. And you got the opportunity to win a couple hundred bucks worth of items. And, um... Yeah, that's basically what the giveaway is all about, man. I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. I'm going to be reminding you on all my videos that the giveaway doesn't end till the 27th of August. That's when the giveaway ends. And it should, and I'm shipping all the items out before I take my vacation. Um, I take my vacation like the end of August. So it ends on the 27th, 27th but you should get um, another video after it ends. I'm going to be calling the winner. I'm gonna be recording the whole um, the whole giveaway from me from from the um, system selecting whoever wins this um whoever wins the prize. But yeah, guys, yeah, you don't want to enter this. And I'm think I'm I'm trying to figure out something where if you enter this giveaway, um, my next giveaway that I have, it'll put you in there with maybe a higher chance of winning that one. And I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to figure out the logistics of that. Maybe, maybe it gives you opportunity to win something else. I don't, I don't know yet. But I'm, I'm trying to get caught with the logistics of that. Um, this channel will be dedicated to giveaways, um, helping other drivers out, man. Um, it's gonna be a car. It's gonna be a car channel. My giveaways are actually gonna be like physical building these trucks. Um, that's, that's really what I want to do. I want to give. I want to give other drivers businesses. Businesses. I want to give. Um, Drivers, I'm gonna get people that are not even drivers, businesses, so they they get their CDL and everything. I, I want to fund all that with my giveaways. 
So I want to get somebody the opportunity, just like, um, just like I would give them the opportunity to become a truck driver and make a, um, a better income than I was making and make more money. But guys, that's it. I have to tell you for this giveaway. Go in there right now. Um, you, like I said, you can go to the pin post in the comment section below, or you can go to the um, description below and enter. Also, you can go to community tabs. I should have some links in there. Also, you can go to my Instagram channel, which is the same as my YouTube, Dope Strings. Um, you should see a blue challenger. But anyways, guys, I'm going to let you guys get back to the video. There's Dope Strings. What's up, man? Hey, I'm, I'm trying to get y'all a video. I'm trying to get y'all a video every single day. I'm sorry for the last few days. Man, I wasn't up to it. I got a lot of I got a lot of bad news the last few days. And it's gonna cost me a lot of freaking money. So I ain't been in the mood to record no video. But guys, I'm trying to help you guys out, man. I'm trying to help you guys out as much as possible. Um, I'm gonna have a series right now. This series is basically giving you guys the game, man. Giving you guys the game, the trekking game. Um this information is free, bro. It's free. I'm giving you information that I didn't have. Um, stuff, advice that I didn't have that can, like, literally get you further along than where I am right now. Um, well, further, I'm gonna say not, maybe not where I'm at right now, but further along to the point where you can be where I'm at in a shorter distance, a shorter amount of time. Basically, what I'm trying to say. So, this series is gonna be in multiple videos. Basically, this, I'm gonna break it down in steps. Um, I'm gonna break it down in steps. Um, I'm gonna name this series. Series. I'm trying to think about it. I, I was thinking about it while I was driving all day today. This series is gonna be called "How to Make Your First Million in Trucking." Or how to make millions in trucking? I don't know yet. But you'll know by the title. By, by, if you see the title of this video, um, you'll know that what, what I chose or whatnot. But guys, this first this first part, man, we gonna we gonna talk about getting your CDL, man, because we all had to do it. We all had to do it. We didn't just come into truck driving, just driving trucks. Some of us did, and it was, I mean, you could got caught. It was probably, it, yeah, you'd been out there now. But a lot of us didn't. We didn't have those opportunities like that. Um, Man, you can you can really get your CDL at 18 right now. I'm not I'm not saying you should, because if you get your CDL at 18, it's hard to find a company that's going to hire you. Um, most companies are going to want over-the-road experience. So it's gonna they don't not over the road experience, but they gonna want some type of experience, truck driver experience. And it's hard to find companies that will hire you if you don't have any experience and you can't go out of state. Like you can't even cross the state line if you're 18. So this is this this video starting off is gonna be more for someone that's 21 years old that want to get into the industry. Um, at, well, I'd say at least 21 years old they want to get into the industry. Um, this this is just to help you out. This is talking to the younger me or the me before I got to trucking, man. That's basically what I'm talking about. That's basically what I'm saying. But anyways, guys, this is what you want to do, man, to get your CDL, man. And this is the road to your first million, bro. Your first million in trucking. Um, this is what you want to do. You got different routes to get your CDL. You can either go to a school, get your CDL. That way, you could. You got the opportunity. You can go to a mega carrier, get your CDL that way. It's gonna be either of those two, because they gotta be licensed. They have to be licensed. Um, and if they're not, you're not gonna get your CDL. But anyways, guys, um, that's basically what you're gonna do. See, here's here's the downfall with freaking going to a um a school and not going through like a um a company. But it's it's cons and, and pros to either one. Going to a school, um, you can go get your CDL at a school. But a lot of these companies are gonna want some type of experience. Even mom and pop, they're gonna want some type of experience. If you they're not gonna hire you with zero experience. And you might find someone out there, but it's gonna be few and far between to find uh, somebody that's gonna hire you with no experience. So you can go the mega carrier route. Go get you a CDL on um, stay with them for a certain amount of time. Normally it's a year. I haven't seen anything over a year. But normally it's a year. Go ahead and get your CDL. Stay with them for like a year. Stack up your bread, man. Hey, do what you gotta do, man. You gotta do what you gotta do. You, you, we gonna get you. We gonna get your CDL for free, man. We don't want you to pay for your CDL. And you can go through a school and get your CDL for free. And they're um and whoever I guess they're endorsed by, 
like let's say say warn of somebody who helps them endorse get them um give people jobs from there they, they end up paying for your your um your school tuition or whatnot if you um go to them you got that route man you definitely got that route um getting your cdl me i um i recommend trying to get your cdl um but because i went through a mega care i went through prime um when i was going through prime they were phasing they start they just started phasing out the arm um, the manuals so i would say get get go to a school that can get you in a manual truck because you're gonna want that you don't you don't want that restriction um it's it's fine if you it's fine if you get an automatic restriction. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. What I'm saying is you don't want that restriction because right now truck prices are freaking cheap for manuals. They're really really cheap, really really cheap. And if you want to go like if you want to build a fleet of trucks, well, I, I, matter of fact, we ain't gonna talk about. We just talking about the CDL part. Um, I don't think you should have any type of restriction on your license. Um, a lot of people say that. Um, a lot of people say this. They they say like um. You shouldn't have any restriction because um, that you might have you might jump into a manual. You might have go to a company that has one manual truck in their fleet, and you're not able to drive that truck. That's the dumbest shit I ever heard, bro. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. That's the dumbest shit I ever heard. Um, majority of freaking carriers, unless you go to like a freaking hole in the wall carrier, they're gonna have an automatic truck in their fleet um, because they're more fuel efficient. There's, I mean, if you're smart, if you're if you're a smart business owner, you're gonna go for the more the more fuel efficient truck. Um, there's no one out there in the world that can beat a freaking automatic truck when it comes to fuel savings. No one. You can't shift as good as an automatic truck, even if it sounds rough, even if it feels rough. You're not gonna get. I mean, it, of course, it pairs with the engine. The engine is gonna save you money too. I mean, that's the reason why it's getting fuel mileage, but excuse me but even if you get the same engine with a manual transmission versus automatic you're not going to beat the truck when it comes to fuel mileage bro you're not going to get nine miles nine ten miles 11 12 13 miles to the gallon in no manual truck and that's just facts it ain't even my opinion at that point bro if you can show me man show me you can't be empty bro you can't be empty you got to be loaded show me that it's impossible but anyways guys oh that was just my little rant but um yeah you can go either way bro um i'm not for sure on this but this is what i would do i would go to a school um i would go to a school that you can get that you can get like get everything done for free just that just so it's less money out of your pocket um that'll pay for your um that'll pay for your cdl because you got companies that are that are higher out of these schools um, around you, and they'll pay for your CDL. Or I forgot, you can go this route too. I, I didn't even think about this. Um, you can go through like a technical college or something like that, bro. Um, you can you can find little programs or whatnot throughout your state, and you can get that done, man. You can get that done like that way, and you can get it done for free, bro. Get your CDL for free. Get it done for free, man. Hey. You don't want to pay for it. If you stay with a company, you gotta stay at least a year for most companies. I've never I'm not seen I'm not seen under a year. So if you were to go that route, pick a good company, man. Pick a good company. Do your research, man. Pick a company that you're gonna like. Prime is a great company. You're a great company. Um it's nothing wrong with being there for a year. Trust me, it's nothing wrong with being there for a year. Uh, you'll make great money and you'll be there for a year. But um and a year goes by like that. If you're over the road, it goes by like that. Go by like that. Trust me, it goes by pretty quick. But um, yeah, you can go, man. We we just trying to we just trying to save you money at this point, so you can become a millionaire a lot sooner. You there's less debt. If you got debt, um, it's, it's not going to add to it. Um, plus you're gonna get you're gonna earn six figures. Yeah. You're gonna earn six figures in trucking. You're gonna earn six figures your first year, depending on where you um, depending on what what company you decide to go to. And if you don't. Nine times out of ten, you're gonna make more than what you were currently making at your last employer. So keep that in mind, bro. Keep that in mind. But yeah, this is hey, I'm just telling y'all how to get your CDL. This is what I would go for. I would get no restrictions on my license, bro. Find you a school um that teaches manual still. Find you a school that teaches manual and see if there is any way that um see if see if there are any any companies that uh I, I guess endorse that school. 
to the point that they pay for the um they pay for that driver's they pay for that driver um tuition. So you don't have to come any money out of pocket as long as you just stay at that company for a year. Um a year is not that long, even if it's a shitty company. A year is not that long, bro. And nine times out of ten, you're gonna make more money than you were at your current employer. So now you got that, you got you don't have a main restriction. Make sure you get all of your endorsements, bro. Um, even if you get your endorsements later, bro, all your endorsements later, bro, it's it's not as expensive as um that getting that automatic restriction removed. Trust me. I'm trying to get it I'm trying to get it removed on my own, by myself right now. And I'm looking at freaking three thousand. Three, four thousand, bro. Just to get the automatic restriction removed. If I would have done it the way I'm telling y'all to do it, I wouldn't have had that issue, bro. I wouldn't have had that issue. But guys, yes. Yes, this is the first part, man. Go get your CDL done, man. I'm giving y'all pointers on what to do. We're trying to get you to a million, man. We're trying to get you to a million. And it ain't got to be a million in cash, bro. It could be a million in freaking stocks. Not, well, I ain't going to say stocks because I don't like stocks. I mean, it's, it's drivers that, that freaking put out there that you should put money in stocks. They lose that one stock. They lose everything. So I'm not saying you should do that right now. Uh, I'm trying to get you a million. Man, you're going to have a million, bro. You're going to have a million. Trust me. Um, and assets this can be house it can be um your retirement all that bro i'm not just talking about a million in cash a liquid cash um to get a million in liquid cash it's gonna take you a while. it's gonna take you a while if you want to do it that way but guys hopefully this video has helped you um this is just the start of a series man this is just the start of a series man local look to um look look out for some more videos basically what i'm trying to tell you bro it's gonna be a series. It's gonna be a series. But guys, like, comment, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down. Um, tell me how you like the video, bro. Tell me how you like the video. Um, I'm here to help right now. I'm here to help right now. Um, go enter that giveaway. The giveaway is going on right now. The giveaway is going on right now. But guys, I'm gonna catch you guys on the next one. Um, until next time, peace.